If you like, I can recommend a number of different ways to effectively process the loss of a friend or comrade. I'm fine. Let's work. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrain01, and we're going to continue on with more Watch Dogs Legion. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. So we got a little mini game here that we can actually take a look at. I'll show it to you guys. I don't know if this character can actually do it or not, but I guess we'll find out. Some characters cannot do it. So hit the inputs in time to hit the ball. Each hit within the colored section of the wheel counts as a perfect hit. Do tricks, complete increasingly challenges. All right. Seriously? I'm doing it! I dare you to top that! Well, there you go. So I just showed off the one, which was uh, one that gave us an achievement. Which was actually uh, kind of fun. So, I mean, it's a very challenging game. And I can definitely tell you that it's going to take you a little time uh, before you just get really, really, really good at it. So, we've got a bunch of missions up here. As you can see, we've got Initiate Sequence 404 in a gap in the armor as well as the bare knuckle quest. So I think we're, what we're gonna do is... Gap in the armor. I'll be in chapter started. So with that being said, we're gonna head over to... I believe it's at our safe house. I don't think I let it show up enough. Got to give it a second. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephants in the room. Nigel, Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Jesus. You want to confront the head of a private military company that's paid off by the government? What are you going to do? Just knock on his front door? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Well, that's suspiciously convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. 
So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Kang Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. That's that new designer drug from the dark web. The Met were cracking down on it before they were completely neutered. It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high fatality rate that stands to make Clan Kelly a lot of money. And kill a lot of people in the process. Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms if you'd like to take a look into it. All right, so earlier you might have heard a scream in the background. That's my little girl. She's finally learning how to talk a little bit. And so when she gets so excited, she like yells and screams. And it's just the, it's the cutest thing ever. So we've had the same thing on for a while. Oh, you can't really see because it's, it's like an outfit, I guess. Kind of like that one. But instead of a gas mask, we go with... Here we go. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing at that. She's behind me watching her songs, and she's just so excited that she just yells... It's so cute. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course. But I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Time to introduce ourselves. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Got a similar setup myself. Maybe paranoid, but... To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Message received. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagley, those windows, are they a viable option? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Copy that. Look at this. The place is packed to the gills with traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Copy that. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Now, now, no need for that. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Wrong. Think more insurgent. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen to me! Albion knows you're in London. You need to get out of here, now! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cuss is worse than you know. Worse than we know. We know! We know! Why else do you think I'd fucking be here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. No, we're not with Cass. He fucking tried to kill us, mate. We need to stop him, and we need your help to do it. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you oh, won't mind about that part. Fuck, think, think. Shit, fine. I'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Move it, move it! Fuck's sake! Don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about the patient. Fuck it out. It, uh, the game is a lot different when you don't have the music going on in the background, you know? Control, we are pursuing the target. Control, we have an RTA at my location. This is one way to drive. Okay, I think we're clear for now. I'm terminating the search. Woo. Full back. Over. 
I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Yeah, that was kind of tough. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizer or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. All right, looks like we're headed to the Tower of London. I do remember doing this mission, I think. Uh, hmm. On the outside here. Tower of London? Security will be tight. How do we do this? I'd like to help, fam, but Nigel's just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caber, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. All right, mate. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yeah, we know. But Cass is launching some new project, and I can guarantee it won't be good. We need to do something, you know? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Can you send me their personal info? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Recruiting an Albion employee. Easier said than done. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. You look like you're eager to fight the powers that be. Wait, are you a dead sack? I just so happen to need some help. We'll do what we can. What's the matter? I have a dear friend who's been very sick. Respiratory illness. NHS has been in bad shape for so long, there's no way for him to get any help. So he took the only option he had, an expensive Clan Kelly doctor. I forked out the cash for him. Go on. Well, the drugs worked. Oh, did they ever. My friend got hooked on the stuff, and this doctor immediately started raising the price. I want to help, but I don't know how. What a fucking lowlife. Don't worry. Dead set will get your friend their drugs. Obviously, that was a glitch in the system. <laughs> well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. 
He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Bagley? Think you can track him down? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. All right, so we need to figure out how to get in here. The Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. And he's got highly secure laptop with him too. That should contain the whereabouts of the drug shipment. There's the laptop. out the big guns now. <laughs> this better be a joke or I'm snapping next. Hey, are you almost done? <laughs> right, how about you take over and encrypt all of this shit? Scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. Experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. Right, your teammate won't be completing their operation so much as they'll be needing one. Oh no. Send flowers from me, Bagley. And let's get some payback. There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. All right, so what we're going to do is we've got a different character now. Is we're going to try to get in. But you have to get this thing first or else you won't be able to leave. So I successfully snuck in. But because I didn't have this thing unlocked, we couldn't actually leave the area. safe location where our friend can pick it up sending you the coordinates now there we go and I think that's one of the things I like about this game is that like a character can get injured or something like that and then you're gonna have to switch to another one I do not have permadeath on Meaning that the character is only injured, he's not dead. Whereas if permadeath is on, then that means he'll never come back. Which I think is, is great and fun if you have a huge collection of people that you've gained. Like if you've went around and done like a few hours of nothing but recruiting people, 
then I definitely recommend turning permadeath on and enjoying it. But if you only have a few people at the start of the game, I really don't recommend putting permadeath mode on just yet until you can get to the point where you don't have to go through recruiting over and over and over again. Because hard mode is quite difficult, and it just takes a few shots and you're dead. These narrow streets, I'm telling you. Back in the vehicle? There it's we go. done. We stash a drug somewhere discreet. Bagley will give you the location. Now you can help your friend. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Hey, you know what? You're exactly the kind of person DedSec is looking for. You should join us. It's fun. All right. I'm in. Let's have some fun. Okay. Let's see where you're hiding. You'll fit right in. The more people willing to fight the system, the better. Oh, yes. I'm ready, willing, and able to serve. Brilliant. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. All right, so we're good to go now. Doesn't look like we can fast travel there. So I'll just go ahead and uh, skip this myself. Seems your mate took quite a bash in and has wound up in hospital. They won't be available for some time. If you're feeling clever, you might consider recruiting a paramedic to the team. It's a brilliant way to shorten that hospital stay and get your teammate back online. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. All right, back to my day job. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look.
All clear. Let's get this Moving little on. shit. Moving on. Moving on. Shit. Put out an all ports warning. Still need to be careful, as you can see, enemies can still get the better of you. I don't know which way he was going to go. I heard someone saying dead sick. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have more. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. There are some parts of this city that need a good working order with some heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know. Oh, Director Cass is a genius engineer, but everything he designs is weaponized. Sure, so that's what we're taking care of them long ago. You mean dead set? I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back in operation. I'm not sure. I think he's kind of suspicious. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some rumblings out here. Sounds like they may be back in some form. Keep working. They are. They're It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Let's see it. Internal psych assessment AS001, subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania, edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh my. I'm not one to make light of one's mental health, but Cass clearly has issues. And he's been put in charge of keeping London safe. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Seems a bit tense. How are you getting on with those metrics? Hey, that was lucky. He wouldn't do to miss it. Wow. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up... So lucky. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, 
I was hoping you'd call us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How the bloody hell do I get out of here, Bags? The catacombs, fam. Bloody hell, what else can I hack? new recruit. God, so close.
so a lot of close calls. In there, didn't you? That can be very uh, persuasive. Anyone can be with a gun in hand. It's crass. He does seem in a hurry to launch this Themis project. None of what I've heard is comforting. one bit. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty much everything we found. Don't see anything else. Was that? Fucking hell. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Huh? Ask somewhere else, you dickhead. 